of a shooting in West Columbus. Police tell us at least five people were shot about four hours ago on Bellows Avenue. That's in the Franklinton neighborhood. 10 TV's Amy Steigerwald joins us live from the scene. Amy, what is the latest on this investigation? Yeah, Clay, we are still uh, working to learn what exactly led up to this. Police are here kind of uh, coming and going. We're told they have been interviewing people throughout the morning who were here when this happened. So just to break down what we know as of right now, we're told this call came in just after 1245 earlier this morning. Police say all five of the victims are younger uh, and to give you an idea they range in age from 17 to 19 four of them transported to nationwide children's hospital they drove themselves there we're told the other one was taken by a medic to grant after being shot in the foot now all of them are stable as of right now which is good news uh, but we're learning those shots were fired both in and outside the home Columbus police tell us this home is a short term Airbnb rental property. Now, while police have somewhat cleared the scene as compared to what it looked like earlier this morning, even just an hour ago, there were dozens of officers interviewing witnesses to learn what exactly led up to this. Those witnesses again were younger. We saw some of them coming out with overnight bags, wearing pajamas, even some of them getting picked up by their parents. Uh, just to put into perspective how young some of these uh, kids that were here were. We'll continue to monitor this and uh, let you know once we learn more exactly what led up to this. Interviews are ongoing this morning. But I'm going to send it back to you live in Franklinton. Amy Stuckerwald for 10 TV News. Amy, thank you. This is the second time in two weeks Columbus police have investigating a shooting with multiple victims at a short term rental property. Three people were shot last week at a rental property on 4th Street, which is near the University District. Two of the victims were critically injured. No word on any arrest so far. And we have since learned that the rental property was not registered in Franklin County.